Hey, what's up guys? Totally Dubbed here and today I'm uh, flashing over Slim ICS version 4.1 and uh, I just wanted to show you uh, the flashing process which is relatively simple. I just want to show you first of all I am on LF2 Omega 6.0 which is based on LF6. LF2 is my uh, uh, modem. So I've got the two files in my, uh, in my internal SD card as you can see there, I've got 4.1 and you'll need slim common .zip. So you need these two files, which I'll link down in the description, uh, which will be probably on my website. So there you go. And so we're going to go into recovery. Obviously, if you haven't got recovery, you want to power off the phone and then go up, um, home and power button all in one. And it'll take you into recovery. And obviously, you'll have to be rooted with recovery. Uh, which should be pretty obvious if you're installing a custom ROM. So first of all we're going to delete all user data and factory reset. Going to wipe cache. Going to wipe Dalvik. The error comes up over there, which is fine. Mounts and storage and we're going to format system what format system does is deletes the ROM which is currently on your phone so uh, that is recommended apparently by the developer so we'll go by what he says then we want to choose zip from internal SD card presuming that you have it in the internal SD card so here we go the script accidentally but anyway so here's 4.1 as you can see and so it's flashing away and next we're gonna choose zip from SD card and I'm gonna slip um, slim common dot zip uh, this is basically like uh, the GAPS applications and email applications. And we're going to reboot system now. Basically, that uh, Slim Common, um, if you download the file and open it while it's uh, 7-zip, for example, you'll be able to see that the application that it has inside and uh, some of the applications, for example, is email and the Play Store. So um, I would truly recommend them, obviously, unless you don't want them for some odd reason but uh, that's uh, I, I would I would flash that if I were you so uh, the ROM is very small it's a very very small ROM it actually surprised me and the size of the ROM uh, I think it's around 80, 80 odd meg um, together so it's the ROM is supposedly 63 meg and the slim common is about 20 meg um, and as you can see this is a really slim ROM meaning that it doesn't actually have many things um, on there so you can see straight away uh, the DPI as in the look of the look of the thing is actually very small so you can see over there it's actually very very small over there um, whereas normally it would be a little bit bigger just wait for it to boot up I presume we'll just give it a little bit of time Right, there we go. No, we don't want that. Right, as you can see, there you go. Uh, the launcher looks pretty goddamn confusing if you ask me. But uh, here we go, as you can see I'm on 4.1 LF2 again, um, and it's on SIA kernel uh, 1.2.6, and so let's go to, there we go, applications, and you can see the applications we've got inside. 
that's as you can see it's really slim so I was just trying to scroll there to see if there's anything else but uh, that is really it there's nothing there's nothing much in there uh, and what I would suggest is from the Play Store you can get the application as well uh, the application is listed on uh, XDA so you guys can check that out so there we go I hope you've enjoyed this uh, short little video and um, yeah if you've enjoyed this video please do comment below and tell me if you're on this ROM or not um, and there'll be settings to do I'll, I'll probably play it around I'll put, probably post them in the comments below for example changing the DPI settings I'll, I'll play around with that alright guys take care bye bye